Okay, hello, this is Dr. Mintz, and this is uh, a KUB. As you know, we still get KUBs once in a while, and we're worried about renal stones or ureteral stones or bowel gas patterns too. So look at these few images here. Anything catch your eye? I suspect it does. Going back here, you see this curvilinear calcification extending to the right, curvilinear calcification extending to the left. So looking at those two, you're thinking hopefully of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Here you can see the iliac arteries coming into this big aneurysm. You see the thin, crescentic little peripheral curvilinear calcifications. So this is the aneurysm. You can actually see it like that. How sure am I? Very sure, because I also have a CT. And here is the case. Boom. And a lot of these cases also have calcification of the uh, thrombus. And you can see that it does not extend into the iliac arteries just as you would have expected based on the plain films. So remember to look for those calcifications, even if that's not the question at hand for KUBs. And yes, this patient has a few little calcifications related to the kidneys. Now be very careful because a lot of times, if you have an, an aneurysm of the aorta, you also have vascular calcifications elsewhere. And little calcifications like this, that's a vascular calcification. And here you can see one outside the kidney. So Bear in mind, if you see little calcifications related to the kidney, like that's a tiny one, that is vascular. So that probably is too. All right, and they can be hard to distinguish.